right, what's up YouTube? My name's Nate Rocco. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm not sure how you found me, but you're here, so thank you, I appreciate you. Um, I'd like to give a little bit of a breakdown as far as what you can expect from this channel, what kind of videos I'm gonna make. So uh, if this sounds cool to you, stick around, subscribe, check out, um, check out my other social media platforms. I'll be posting about my videos there. So yeah, um, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm 23, I'm a graphic designer, a videographer, and a photographer, and kind of everything in between that encompasses um, those creative fields. I work as a marketing director and graphic designer in real estate out here in Massachusetts. So that's what I do during the day, and on the side, I'm a freelance photographer, videographer, and I also do design. So yeah, as far as videos on this channel, you're gonna kind of get a little bit of everything. I'd love to do some graphic design videos, maybe some InDesign or like, Photoshop kind of stuff. I'll do a lot of cinematography kind of stuff based around video. Um, any video content I shoot for freelance stuff, if I can post it here, I'll do that. And definitely a lot of photo. Today is going to be kind of focusing on more of the photography end of things. I'm going to go over a little bit of some recent photography I've been taking and some photography habits that I've been trying to mold for myself and a little bit of Lightroom Mobile edit on the move and um, why I think that's valuable and why that could uh, help progress your photography style. So yeah, if that sounds interesting, stick around, grab a drink, let's get into it. All right, so a quick tip that I've been trying to implement into my life is just always taking my camera with me. I feel like if I'm doing something for work or I have a freelance gig, I'm taking my camera out and doing that shoot and then I'm putting it back on the shelf where lately I've been leaving for work, leaving whatever I'm doing on the weekend and I just grab my camera, I take it with me and I found that if it's always next to me, always ready to go, I sometimes even just keep it on. Like even shutting your, your camera off and having the lens cap will stop you from maybe taking that photo that you're planning on or you, you were thinking about taking. So yeah, just always always have it on you because you never know what you wanna shoot or what you might wanna shoot. All right, so editing on the move. What's the best app? In my opinion, Lightroom Mobile, without a doubt. Uh, you can easily upload your photos from your camera. At least I can through my Canon app, I'm sure. There's equivalents for Sony and uh, other cameras like that. So grab your phone, download Lightroom Mobile, and start playing around with it. It's very, very helpful on the move if you wanna just grab something, throw an Instagram story up with a little bit of editing. Um, it goes a long way. I think every photo you put out is a representation of you and your art and your ability. So take that seriously. Download Lightroom Mobile and um, yeah, we're gonna get into a little bit more detail of that now. So on the screen now, I'm gonna put a couple of photos that I've taken over the past few weeks, just in the time that I've been trying to take my camera with me more. Just having it on me gives me the versatility of a real DSLR camera versus my phone. Um, phone pictures are great, but if you actually have your camera with you, you know the difference. Once you've uploaded your photos within the app, you can mess with some of the basics of temperature, saturation, and highlights of the photo. If you wanna get a bit more in depth, you can tweak the tone curves. There's also a quick and easy way to copy settings from one photo to the next. This helps when you're batch shooting and you have a similar photo in the same environment. You can take the settings from one photo and put them straight onto the next. So hopefully you enjoyed some of those photos. Um, I'm gonna keep doing these kind of videos of just everyday carry kind of photos that I edit on my phone and I put online. So let me know what you think of this kind of style. If you like the way I display it, if you like the music behind it, whatever, give me your thoughts. This is all new to me. So um, feedback is definitely appreciated. And yeah, so I wanna get into kind of my final topic of the video. I wanna keep it short and sweet. And that is kind of another reason behind why I want to carry my camera more and it's just to create I feel like the age of Instagram and like everything with showing off what you're doing and this like cool lifestyle that you live like everybody knows Instagram's cool and all but it's the highlights you're seeing the best of the best of everybody's life and me included if you call my Instagram it's the coolest shit I do and that's not a mistake I do that on purpose because like 
that's that's just the way Instagram is but by taking my camera and just taking photos all the time I'm trying to like relearn how to have fun with photography I, I feel pressured to not take my camera because I'm like oh this isn't cool enough this isn't gonna produce a cool enough photo and that's bullshit you should take photos because you like taking photos and I think that's super important so with me I feel I can't post a photo if it's not dope. I can't post it if it's not like a perfect edit, if something's blurry, if something's out of focus. Like, I'm trying to forget all that. Like, yeah, I think Instagram is the best of the best and it's you gotta be quality because you wanna stand out, obviously, in a creative field. But I'm trying to push myself and force myself to take photos and post them if I like them. Like, it, it's as simple as that. If you like something and you're proud of it, put it out. That, I mean, that's that's the purpose of art, so. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's at the end of the day why I feel like I've been trying to push myself to just take pictures and not have some sort of weird um, agenda behind it. So yeah, um, let me know what you think of that. Um, I'm personally trying to do that. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of uh, my first video here. I appreciate you sticking around if you stuck around this long and expect more videos in the future. Thanks.